Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be making a Valentine card with the Meant to Be bundle from the Stampin' Up! Acacia's catalog. Now this is a beautiful bundle and suite with some very Valentine themed uh, accessories and these thinlets or framelets are beautiful. You can see there's a beautiful rose here, a little cut out border. Look at this cluster of hearts and this border edgelet here along with several layers of uh, stacking hearts. Um, so I decided I've made several projects with this but I wanted to make a masculine card. Something with a masculine feel. So this is the card we're going to be making today using this bundle. So <clears throat> let's get started. I have a card base, I'll move this out of the way for the time being, I have a card base that is early espresso, cut at four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half, okay? Then I've already cut a piece of Whisper White at four by five and a quarter, and that's going to go on the inside of the card a little later. I'll set that aside for now. And the main focal point is a heart that is cut with one of the framelits, okay, with one of the, and it's a stitched heart. So I have a piece of this uh, Wood Textures uh, Designer Series paper stack, the 6 by 6 stack from the annual catalog. And I just used this heart here from the framelits collection from uh, Meant to Be and just cut that out and I'm going to just save this for another project. So I'm going to set that aside and move my framelit. And I, I centered it there and then I thought I want something behind it. So I cut a piece of crumb cake cardstock and this is cut at three and three quarter by five and then I ran it through the big shot with the dynamic textured impressions embossing folder, the corrugated one from the holiday catalog. It's still available. You won't find it in any catalog, but it is in the online store. It's still available, and I'll have the details and the item number uh, either on my blog post below this video or on YouTube. And so I wanted to use that as a backing there. But first, we're going to be doing a little bit of stamping right here. And I have this stamp mounted already. I love our life together. And I'm going to be using some Versamark because I want to emboss with some gold embossing powder. So I'm going to get all of my supplies handy here. Now, first I'm going to use my little embossing buddy. And this will keep the embossing powder from sticking other places on this designer paper okay all right so now let's take versamark it's a clear sticky ink for embossing and you can also use it on like solid color cardstock to get a tone on tone look and then i'm just going to stamp right here i'm going to come down just a little bit there all right so now I've got my gold embossing powder in a little tub here. Try to keep it off the rest of my disc. And let's just sprinkle that over. And there it is right there. And I'm going to take my heat tool, let it heat up just a little bit. And then we're going to melt that embossing powder. Okay, just about got all of it. There we go. All right. Now that's done. So let's go ahead and assemble the front of the card. So this corrugated piece is going to go behind this designer paper. And I'm going to use... We're just going to take the liquid glue and go around the very edge of this corrugated piece. Okay, then we're going to take our stamped piece 
and layer that over the top or the back of it really so that it shows through for our heart okay all right so now let's go ahead and finish embellishing this i have um, these little hearts here that are stamped with the hardwood background stamp and what i did is i had a piece of crumb cake cardstock that was already stamped with this just you know how you have extra pieces left over from projects and i took this die here and ran it through the big shot and cut those pieces to make all these little hearts and so i have those that i can use on other projects and so you see it gives you the negative image that you can use on a project in fact let me see if i can pull it out for you and i guess i moved it it is the negative piece that you can use on a project and then it also cuts out all those little hearts okay all right so let me move that out of the way and i'll get these little hearts here and then I also have a little tag from the corrugated elements in the annual catalog. So we're going to do some doctoring up here. Let me take a sponge dauber and then I'll get my early espresso ink. And I'm just going to kind of distress this up a little bit and give it a little bit of aged look okay and i did the same to the little hearts around the edges just kind of kept gives them a finished look and i like the daubers because there's uh, they're smaller than our stampin sponges for small areas i love that okay we'll get moving and work with these little embellishments. Now I took the largest of the three hearts that I have here and I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional and mount it on the top of that corrugated element. So let me get one of these mini Stampin' Dimensionals, put that right over the back, peel that off. And then put that right over top, like that. And then there's that little <clears throat> hole that's already die cut. You just poke through. And what I used there was one of our gold metallic brads. And it comes in a variety with other metallic brads in the annual catalog. Just gonna put that right through. And I bend it down both ways because I don't want the little prongs to extend beyond the tag itself. I'm gonna use some liquid glue here and get that attached right here, upper left of the heart. So I'm gonna hold that down just a minute to make sure it adheres. Okay, and now we're gonna take, surely the other little hearts did not get, oh, here they are. You know how these little pieces can be. Okay, little dot of glue there. Put one heart there, and then another one. right here okay so now we can go ahead and apply that to the front of our card and we're going to be pretty generous with our glue Let's get in all those grooves I love this corrugated embossing folder I think it has such a great look on lots of different projects Okay, I'm gonna get a little wipey and get my hands clean. 
And now let's work for the inside piece of the card. Hold that down a little bit. Let's move that aside. So I did something just really simple here. I have Happy Valentine's Day and then the um, Early Espresso ink. Go ahead and put some little hearts on here. This is Crumb Cake ink. And stamp off first. All right. And then I'm going to do another one down here. Stamp off. I just re-inked my pad. And then this little heart here. And I am just looking all over my desk for my early espresso ink. And it's probably right in front of my nose. Okay. I'm going to take my Stampin' Right marker and brush over the edge of this to get the early espresso. Straighten that up on the grid sheet and we're going to just stamp Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this on the inside and then we'll be finished with this card. I did some of the steps ahead of time to try to shorten the video and it's still long. Okay, there is a masculine Valentine card or really an earthy card. You could use it for anyone and using the meant to be bundle from the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.